Hello and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm showing you how to make these yummy pumpkin pancakes. They are perfect for getting you into the fall spirit and I hope you like them. So here are all the things you're going to need. Some coconut oil spray, pumpkin, oat milk or whatever non-dairy milk you have, a banana, some rolled oats, again whatever brand you already have, and some pumpkin spice. First thing you're going to do is open your can of pumpkin and take about half a cup of it and pour it into your blender. I use my Vitamix blender, but you can use whatever blender you already have. Next, you'll need one and a half cups of your oats, and these are going to grind up in the blender and turn into your flour. Once you're done with that, you will move on to one cup of your milk of choice. Then we need half of a banana, and I would save the other half so that you can use it as your topping at the end. And then I just tried to measure out one teaspoon of this pumpkin spice. I guess it would have been easier if I just opened the jar. Oh well. Now you've got all your ingredients and you're gonna blend it all up. You want to keep blending until it gets to a really creamy consistency and you can no longer see the oats. Then I put my pan on medium low heat and sprayed some coconut oil. And then you're just going to start making your first pancake. The first one I poured out turned out to be a little small, it was my tester one so I didn't want to make it too big. but. You can make them whatever size you want. I suggest more of a medium size and that will fit more into this recipe. Once the sides of your pancake start bubbling and you can kind of push it around a little bit, then you know that it's ready to flip. I like to get mine to a golden brown color. Remember we're making pumpkins, so they might look a little bit darker than usual, but that's just how I prefer my pancakes. So if you don't like them this brown, you can just cook them a little bit less, but that's how I like mine. So that's how the finished pancake looks, and then I just put it to the side and made the rest of them. And it's really that simple. When I was timing it, it was taking about 45 seconds to one minute per side for my pancakes. So that seemed like a good rule of thumb. But just watch them and like I said, when the sides start bubbling, flip it over and you'll know when your pancake's ready. The recipe made four medium pancakes, but if you wanted more, you could just double the recipe and have a lot more pancakes. And today is actually a really exciting day because I am launching my blog today where I'm going to be posting my recipes and writing them all out for you guys. So it might be easier if you prefer to read a recipe. I know some people don't necessarily like to watch a video when they're actually trying to cook it in the kitchen. So if you'd like to check that out, then I will have the link in the description for this recipe and some others that I've put up there. And I'm really excited, so check it out and let me know what you think. That was it though, there's my finished pancakes, here's what they look like up close. And then I just topped them with some of my favorite toppings, that's the best part. I used my other half of a banana, some blueberries, earth balance butter, and maple syrup. But yeah, that's it for this video, and thank you guys so much for watching as always. I really appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!